Hello friends, it's Miss Kristen here. I'm excited to be here with you today. Let's start off by welcoming each other with our hello song. Ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, we're glad you're here today. I hope you're having a good start to your day and I'm glad I'm starting my day with you. Um, so let's talk about what day of the week it is that we're even all together, okay? We're gonna look for um, we're going to put our Days of the Week song on and we're going to look where our yellow square is as we go through our song, okay? Days of the Week 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 There's Monday and there's Monday There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday There's Thursday and there's Friday And then there's Saturday All right, did you figure out what day of the week it was as we went through? Did you see where our yellow square was? If you didn't, it's okay. We'll go through it together and we'll figure it out. So let's figure out what today is, okay? Let's start at Sunday, ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday. Did you say Thursday? If you did, you were correct. If not, that's okay. We'll try again another day. Today is Thursday. Okay, if today is Thursday, what would to yesterday be? What would the day before today have been? Let's go through our song and figure it out. Ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's... Did you say Wednesday? I bet you did. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. If today is Thursday, what will tomorrow be? What will we wake up tomorrow? What will it be? Do you know? Let's look for the day after our yellow square. Ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. Did you say it? Tomorrow will be Friday. Great job following along so far. Okay, inside my calendar, um, inside my yellow square, there is a number. Can you see inside of it of what day it is today? We know it's Thursday, but what is the number inside? Let's count and figure it out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four. It's the fourth day of the month. Okay, so now we know. We're putting it all together. We know it's Thursday. We know it's the fourth day. What month are we in now? It's a new month, so we might not remember the day exactly. It's called February. February, that's what month we're in right now. So how we would say that as our day is, today is Thursday, February 4th. Can you try to say that with me? Ready? Today is Thursday, February 4th. Nice job, way to follow along. Does anybody remember what color we're working on for this month? It's this color right here. It is the color pink, okay? I'm guessing because it's in the month of February, which means Valentine's Day, which means love, which means red and pink hearts. So we can remember it that way. The color this month is pink. Can you look around your room and find something pink? I have a pink watch band on. That's pink, all of my letters are pink for this month. And even some of my circles are pink. All right, good job. All right, we talked about it the other day that our letter this week is Q. Q makes the sound qua, qua. Can you say that? Qua, qua. All right, so we went through the alphabet the other day about Q. Let's go through our number today. We're on to a new number this week. Our number is, it's got a one and a five next to it. It is here on the calendar. Okay, so let's start at one and count all the way until we get here. I'm going to move my yellow square just so that we can pay attention where we're counting to, okay? And try to get up to that number so we can figure out what number we're on this month. Whoop, that's okay. We're all done with that anyways. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. That is our number that we are working on this week. We are all the way up to 15. When we first started our school year, we started at zero with nothing. And you've already made it up to the number 15. You're getting so smart. That is absolutely amazing. And then we have a worksheet to kind of go along with what our theme is this week. Our theme this week is the mitten. <laughs> I didn't know if you could guess it from looking at it. So on our worksheet it says, my mitten is so big a blank can fit in it. Hmm, what could fit in your mitten? It's so big. Is there anything you have around your house that could fit in your mitten? My marker could fit in my mitten. Let's see what else I have. My mask, if I folded it up, could fit in my mitten. Um, let's see, do I have anything else? My deck of cards could fit in my mitten. So you would look around your room. How you would do this worksheet is you would look around and you would find something that could fit in your mitten. Then you'd probably need a little help from somebody in your house to help you write the word below. Um, so I put a marker and if I was there and I was helping you, what I would do is I would write out the word marker, but I would make dots for the word marker. Okay, M, A, K, E, R. Okay, so I dotted it out first as kind of an outline for you guys. That's what I would do if I was there. And then what you would do would be trace over your word. So I traced over my M and now I'm tracing over my A and now I'm tracing over my K, and then I'm tracing over my E, and then, oops, I forgot my R, my marker. <laughs> I almost spelled marker wrong. Added an R in there, just so you know. M-A-R-K-E-R. -E okay, so, anyways, we, uh, so what, whatever you found in your house that would fit inside of your mitten, you would write that word there. So if it was a crayon, your family members could help you write crayon. Um, or you could try to draw a picture of it. So instead of the word marker, I could have just tried to draw, go right over top, draw a marker inside of there. Because then my sentence would say that. So my mitten is so big a marker can fit in it. Okay, and I just drew a marker instead of writing the word. Totally up to you. When you finish that part, then you could color your mitten however you want, whatever color you would like, okay? Well, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me today, and I hope the rest of your day is magical. Goodbye.